Virtual reality is the future of gaming. And with sports video games being so popular, it only makes sense for developers to create VR sports games. In many cases, it feels like you are actually playing the sport due to how immersive the experience is. I saw this game on Steam called VR Shootaround for only 5 bucks and I figured, hey, I'd give it a try. I have an Oculus Rift S and a pretty powerful desktop, so I figured why not. And wow, I was blown away. This game is incredibly realistic with physics-based ball movement, a ton of sliders to mess with, customization options, and it's a great way to get your heart rate up as well. And if this video gets 5,000 likes, I will do a video experiment using this game to see whether shooting in VR makes you a better shooter in real life. I really want to make that video, so hit the like button. Before we get into it, I need to thank today's sponsor, Swagbucks. With Swagbucks, you get a way to quickly earn money doing things you'd normally do for free, such as watching Netflix, playing games, shopping online, or even taking quick surveys. And by clicking my link in the description box below and completing your first survey, you will earn an extra $5 you can use to redeem gift cards for nearly any retail location you can think of. I've been trying to save money eating out, so I've been watching Netflix and playing games with Swagbucks to earn Starbucks gift cards. I love myself a double chocolate chip frappuccino. So trust me, I've used Swagbucks, it's legit, it's easy. Click that link in the description to get your $5. And lastly, thanks to Swagbucks for sponsoring today's video. For this video, I'll be using the built-in microphone on my Oculus Rift S headset, so the quality won't be as good as it is now once I'm in-game, just a heads up, but you will be able to hear me clearly. I'll have a camera set up right here as well, so you can see me physically shooting in real life while I do it in the game. Now let's jump in. Alright, so when you enter the game, you're met with this screen right here, VR shoot around. I got my hands, as you can see. Wow, we're in a court. Can I get close to the edge here? Wow. We're in the Hemimelis Center. It's very, very nice looking. You got a screen, you got chairs, you got scoreboard counter it looks like, and then you have uh, NBA 3, College 3. You know, you have all the lines you would have on a half court, and then you have a legit basket right there. Pretty cool. Here you have the controls over here. I guess we have, um, a hallway. You can't go through these doors, but it's pretty cool. That's the exit. It looks just like a rec center. You know, during quarantine, uh, because of the word I can't say because I'll get demonetized, you know, the pandemic, most places like this are closed. I know all the rec centers at my local parks are closed, so this kind of gives you the rec center experience, at least being alone at the rec center, you know, you can't have a pickup game in this, but going to a rec center and, and shooting around, that's something that this game can give you. Five bucks. So here we have the controls. So it looks like Y button is settings, stick press is pointer, stick press is move, both sticks. Okay, so both, both hands do the same thing, it's just flipped. Receive a ball with the A button. Oh wow, look at that. They just come at you, and you can just hit them with your fists. That's pretty sick. You can also see about the grip. You can see my finger hitting the grip, or hit A button. And of and I already figured this one out. Use the trigger to grab the ball. So you throw a ball at yourself, and you hit the trigger to grab it. You can throw it up, catch it, bounce it off your finger. Oh, you can already see how the game it's it's physics based. See how these balls are coming in and hitting the side right there? That's pure physics. I wonder if I can try to make a shot from here. So I guess you just throw the ball. Yeah, you just throw the ball. You can underhand it. Oh, that might actually... That was actually online. Money ball. So I guess every every five balls you get the money ball. Online. It, it's going to take a lot of time, I think, to adjust to the... Um, how hard you need to push on the ball to get it where you need to go. What's over here, huh? Looks like we got a hallway with a machine room, bathroom. It's just like your your average rec center, you know? You can dribble. Well, that's sick. Let's we'll start with the corner three. Line it up. Way too much power. Way too little power. Here's the money ball. 
Okay, we're getting closer. Maybe we should start closer to the rim. All right, we're pretty close now. We'll probably bank it in. Look at that, first shot. We got the money ball, let's try to switch. Oh, right now I'm just trying to get a feel for how hard I need to shoot the ball. I believe the game has settings where you can edit how heavy the ball is, you know, to make it more or less realistic. All right, let's try a free throw. I don't know if we're ready for that though. Okay, we can bank a free throw. That feels pretty, that was undershot. That feels pretty realistic. The way the ball, oh man, it's really, really satisfying. The way the ball falls into the basket or it hits the rim. And look at the net. When I make a shot, when I make a shot, look at the net, perfect net physics. Like I'd probably just throw this right at the net and it, the net moves like a real net would move. But yeah, some people when they first play this game, I can see them just kind of, you know, one hand shooting like that. It's not gonna work. You have to arc your shot like, and release it at the top of the arc. Like that, perfect. Swishing is quite hard. That was close, because you gotta undershoot it so you don't hit the basket. It takes it could it takes a lot of practice, but I'm sure if you played this every day, just like real basketball, you would improve wildly. You know, let's see if we can hit a hit a college three right here. Oh, swish! No arc on that shot either. Undershot. I might need to edit those ball settings, make the ball a little heavier. Throw power multiplier. So that might be what we need to change. Let's uh, put it all the way up and see if that makes it harder or easier. And go back. Oh, and then let's close this. Oh, that makes it way easier, I believe. Oh yeah, that's not what we want. We want to edit that. Let's put it down to one. Or close to one. Yeah, there we go. Oh yeah, that makes the ball super heavy. Let's edit it one more time. Let's make it 1.5. Oh yeah, that that feels pretty good. That's what a free throw should feel like. You don't have to jump. I actually feel like I'm sweating. Oh, there's a swish. We got our first swish. As you can see up there, we've actually made 22 shots out of 87 attempts. Not too bad. Oh, call me Steph Curry. I think we're ready for the half court shot. That was actually surprisingly close. Underhand? Oh, underhand is easy. You can fly that ball. Oh! Let's see how far I can throw this ball, dude. Oh, can we hit the ceiling? Almost, we gotta hit the ceiling. Oh, there we did, we hit the ceiling. And now we have a really bouncy ball. Pull up. You ever just pull up from half court like Dame Lillard? Huh, <laughs> I don't have the arm strength. <laughs> did that just bounce in? I'm gonna have to replay that. I think that just hit the ground and bounced in, but I'm not sure. <gasps> Swish! Half-court shot, just about. Swish. It doesn't get better than that. 25 out of 127. Actually, we can we can do some dunks. Check this out. You can change the rim height. Look at all these settings right here. Let's change the rim height. Look at this. Now I can slam dunk. Boom! You know, I can bring it low and then... Psh! 
I probably look so not cool in real life. Look at these net physics, dude. You know, you can change the colors. See this? We can make it red. You can change all these colors until you get what you want. You can customize it. You can even upload images from your computer. Customize it however you like. Make it your rec center. You know, make it look just like the one you normally go to. That's a make. Oh, 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 man. That, that, those ball physics on that rim, dude. There's a make. Oh, let's go to 200 attempts, see how many we can make. Oh, we made another. Let's go on a run here. Let's raise that percentage. Oh, we got a swish, just about. Oh, man, we're on fire. Here's the money ball. Oh, just missed that money ball. And undershot that one. All right, all right. All right, all right, all right. We're over 50 makes. Oh, no. Two more attempts. All right, we got one last attempt here. Making it count. 52 out of 200 attempts. What is that, like 25% shooting? Not bad, not bad. If you thought that was cool, remember, the game is on Steam and it's only five bucks. I think it's a ton of fun, but there aren't any real game modes or objectives, so you might get bored easily and it may not be for you. But if you like playing around with physics-based stuff like this and just immersive VR experiences, it's worth a shot for sure. It's definitely worth five bucks in my opinion. Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video with my Fall of EA Sports documentary.